Hello, it's Nat here. Today we're going to be talking about how to increase your credit score to an 800 and above. In this video, there's going to be three main takeaways. The first is to make sure to pay at least the minimum balance on time each month. Second, you're going to want to pay down your credit card balance to make sure you keep your overall credit use low. And lastly, don't close out old credit cards and don't open up too many new ones. So why does a credit score matter? So a credit score is basically a report card for adults. And I never really understood this and I was always one of those people that believed I didn't need a credit score or a good one at that matter because if I needed to buy anything, I would just make sure I had the money for it to purchase it. However, when it comes to those major life purchases, it's important to have a very good credit score. The higher your credit score is, the more likely a lender knows that you'll be able to pay them back. So the first step to actually improving your credit score is knowing what your credit score is. You can check your credit score at least once a year at annualcreditreport.com for free. A lot of banks also offer free credit score monitoring for their clients where you can get a soft inquiry of your credit score pulled. Now something to keep in mind, if you get a hard inquiry of your credit score, it will negatively impact your credit score. Now, once you get this inquiry of your credit score, you can see exactly why your credit score is low and then just do the opposite of what it's telling you in order to boost it up. Now, once you get that credit score pulled, you can see what exactly it says on your account. For instance, you might have some inaccurate payments, most likely a late payment that wasn't actually a late payment. So you can call and fight to get those things removed off your account. Step two is to get a handle of your bill payments. Now, more than 90% of lenders use what's known as the FICO score. And now there are five components that make up your FICO score. The first is your payment history. Your payment history accounts for 35% of your actual score. Your credit usage accounts for 30% of your credit score. The age of credit accounts accounts for 15% of your score. Your credit mix is 10%. And new credit inquiries account for 10% of your score. Being that payment history is so important, it also works in your favor to keep old debt on your records. For instance, let's say your old student debt that you paid on time consistently over the duration of it. It's better to actually keep things like that on your record because it plays in your favor in terms of boosting your credit score. The best way to make sure that your payment history stays intact is by making those payments on time. Some practices that you can use include setting due date alerts or automating your payments. Step three is aiming for 30% credit utilization or less. So this is the portion of your credit limit that you are using actively at any given time. The best way to keep this in check is to make sure you're paying off your credit card balance at the end of each month. The fourth step is you wanna limit your request for new credit. So when you pull your credit, you can either do what's known as a hard inquiry or a soft inquiry. When you do a soft inquiry, your credit score takes no hit. But when you do a hard inquiry, this negatively impacts your credit score. These hard inquiries include anything from trying to get a new credit card, an automobile loan, a mortgage, and it can affect you from either two months to two years. You can get these hard inquiries removed from your account. It won't drastically affect anything since it is only 10%, but it still does make a difference. Step five is making the most out of a thin credit file. So about 62 million Americans actually have this problem where they don't have a long enough credit history in order to have a good credit score. But fortunately, now there are ways where people like that can still boost your credit score through Experian Boost. This is a relatively new program where they collect financial data that wasn't conventionally used in determining your credit score. This includes information such as your banking history and your utility payments, which they factor all together and use in your Experian FICO score. There's also a program known as Ultra FICO, which is very similar. This free program uses your banking history, your saving cushion, and how often you've paid off your bills using your bank account and also how well you've avoided overdraft fees. Step six is keeping old accounts open and then taking care of delinquencies. The older your average credit age, the more favorable you look to lenders. So if you have credit cards or other debts that you have accounts still open for, keep them open. And if you have accounts that are past due, start coming up with a plan in order to start making those payments and playing catch up. 
Step seven, you should consider consolidating your debt. By consolidating all your debt into one, it makes it much easier to manage. If you can also get a lower interest rate on this consolidated debt, then you'll be able to pay off that loan much faster. Step eight and the final step that I recommend is using some kind of credit monitoring service in order to actually track your progress. Because if you're not keeping track of what you're actually doing, how do you know if you're actually improving your credit score or not? Now, I'm gonna go over some very common misconceptions when it comes to how your credit score is actually calculated. Historically, paying off your debt and loans does not improve your credit score because most of these things stay on your credit report for at least seven years. Paying off a loan actually hurts your credit score. This is because by paying off the loan, you are impacting your credit history and affecting your credit mix. Bottom line up front, improving your credit score is very important, especially when you get to the point where you wanna make a major purchase, such as a car or a home. If you have any more questions about improving your credit score, make sure to leave a comment below. Find me on Instagram at Wolf of Watertown, and don't forget to like and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm. See you next time.